Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. y'all doing out there? Uh, this is Pete over at Southwest Rod and Custom DIY Auto School. Now, this really doesn't have nothing to uh, do with vehicles. I'd like to say that this video goes out to uh, uh, a guy out there that makes uh, Great videos. If you haven't checked him out, his name's Mr. Blue Roads. And I think that's the name of his site. I'm going to look right now. Here we go. Okay. His name's Mr. Blue Roads. Okay. Uh, he makes very, very, he takes a lot of time in making his videos. Uh, I mean, they're highly detailed and uh, they're pretty interesting. Okay. Check him out on uh, YouTube, Mr. Blue Roads. That's M R M R B L U E R O A D S. Okay, you can go to S W R N C or DIY Auto School channels, and you'll see them in uh, other channels section. What we got here? We got us an external hard drive. Now, what this is. This is basically a storage. This is a storage facility. Let's just call it a storage unit, okay? Like, you know, when you got a lot of junk in your house or in your garage and you want to store it because you need extra space, well, that's what this is for for your computer, okay? Now, this one here happens to be a 500 gigabyte, which is a half a terabyte, okay? And uh, it runs off your computer. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your external hard drive with your USB cord and you're going to want to plug it into your computer, just like so. After you plug your hard drive into your computer, okay, whether and it's external power or an internal power. Now the internal power is the small hard drive that you saw over here. They have bigger ones that you can plug in. Okay, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to uh, your start button, just like you see there. Go up to your computer, just like so. Once the screen opens up that says computer, you're going to see that it says hard drive, hard disk drives. There's three of them. These are both of your internal ones. This is your recovery disk. This is your main hard drive. And this would be your external hard drive. Okay, whatever the name is, this happens to be My Passport by uh, whoever the hell it's made by. I don't know. Okay, and then you're going to see down here, okay, you're going to see how much space you got free and how big it is. Okay, this is a 400 gigabyte. So I got 318 gigabytes free of 372. That means there's hardly anything on here. So what you're going to do, you're going to double click on that, and it's actually going to open up the hard drive. So we're going to go up here to view, and we're going to go ahead and view it as this right here, see, because it's easier to read than seeing all the big files. Now, your hard drive does many things, your external hard drive, okay? And a lot of people think that for me to back my computer up, okay, I need to go ahead and put it on auto, okay? I need to go ahead and hit install, and I need to do online backup and all this other crap, okay? And I need to set it up. You don't need to do nothing. You don't need to do anything, okay? What you need to do, okay, is you need to start your own file system here, okay? And when I say file system, I'm talking about right-clicking, okay? So you're going to take the mouse and right-click it. You're going to see a window come up. And then you're going to go down here that says New, okay? And on that New, you're going to go straight over to the folder, and what's going to happen is a brand-new folder is going to pop up. And then you want to name that folder. So we'll put... Uh, We'll go ahead and rename that folder Pete's Videos, okay?
and then we're going to hit enter. Okay, so now we got us a brand new folder. Now, if you look over here, I got many folders. I got one that says Matt Temporary Files. We click on that, and we got videos here, okay? These are videos, okay, because that's what this is about. People that make a lot of videos and that storing them on their computer is going to make your computer run slow, okay? But do you see the situation we have? Okay, so I have a file here that says Matt's videos. I mean, Matt's temporary files. Let's go ahead and open that. And then we're going to go ahead and, uh, okay, there you go. All right. Okay, we went over this. So there's a file right there. Then we got uh, Minnie, my wife, my beautiful wife. And these are pictures, okay, her sitting there and, you know, this, that, and the other. And we got some videos in there. And uh, we got Minnie Japan. There's another file that's uh, located inside that file. Okay, here's a little uh, video of Bruno, uh, my little buddy. Okay, there he is right there. So, uh, there you go, you see. So, you can actually put files in files. Do you see what I'm saying? You can actually put files in files. Okay, if I right click inside this, I go down to new, and I can actually put another file in there. Okay? But we don't want to do that. All right. So you can just keep adding files into files if you want. So now we're getting uh, kind of off track here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the brand new folder that I just made. We're going to click that. As you can see, there's nothing in there. It says this folder is empty. We're going to go ahead and put our cursor on the very top of it. We're going to hit our left mouse, and we will drag that over to this area here. Okay. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and transfer some videos over there, just temporarily, just to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the folder where I store my videos, as you can see right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these videos on the top here. If you watch, I'm going to go ahead and right-click, I mean left-click that one. I'm going to hold my Shift button down. If you can see how that put an outline on it, I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to left click on that. Now what I just did is I went ahead and highlighted all those videos up. Now on the last video, I'm going to hold my left mouse down, my left on the mouse. I'm going to hold the left uh, button down and I'm going to drag, if you notice that just turned to a number five, I'm going to drag those into this folder just like that. And then I'm going to let go. Okay. Now you see a timer, uh, copy five items. It's going to take 15 seconds. Okay. What I've just done is I've transferred these files from here. Okay. I just transferred all these videos from here over to here. And if you can see, I'm going to go to uh, where it says view. I'm going to go to more options, and I'm going to go to large you know, icons. That's exactly the same videos over here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these again, okay, the same way I'm going to uh, one click, left click on that video there. I'm going to hit the shift button, hold it down. I'm going to left click on that. Then I'm going to right click on all of them, and I'm going to hit delete. And then it's going to ask me if I want to delete them. I'm going to go yes. And I just cleaned up, okay, I just cleaned up uh, 250 megabytes on my computer. Now, if I want to, I can drag all these over here, okay, and save all my space. Okay, so now what I got here, if I look at this uh, hard drive, okay, now I actually have those videos in here to do whatever I want. Okay, so I'm going to hit my back button, and now I have just started me a file with videos in them. But anyway, you can store your videos here. All your videos are stored on there. Now you can take the videos off your computer wherever you have them stored. Okay? Wherever you have them stored on your computer, you can now delete them. Okay? Because now they are in a safe place over here on your hard drive in a file that you named your videos, Pete's videos, uh, John's videos, uh, Mary's, whatever you name that file. Okay? So as far as when you first plug your hard drive in and you're going to see from here all the way down in all these files, forget all that, okay? 
all you want to do with your hard drive is you want to add files to it. The only files that I am concerned about are the files that I put in there myself. I am not going to do an automatic backup every time I plug it in. I'm not going to do none of that. I'm not going to do an online backup. Okay? And any material that you saved, just for instance, if I had this up and I wanted to put all these pictures, I went ahead and drug all these pictures over into my hard drive. Now you can go back and delete all that off your computer. Okay? And what it's going to do, okay, what it's going to do for you, if you look right here, all right, it's going to free up your main hard drive and also your recovery, okay? So what I'm saying is using a portable external hard drive, okay, is one of the best things that you can ever do with your computer. You can drag all your music files in there. You can open up a file and say, music drag all your music over into your external hard drive okay then you open a file that says videos drag all your videos into there raw footage video drag it all in there anything that has mass uh... you know that takes up a lot of space put it on your hard drive do not back your whole computer up on an external hard drive you're wasting your time all, all it is is drag and drop drag and drop drag from your computer over in here and drop it this is pete my friend pete your friend pete this doesn't really have anything to do with vehicles, okay, but it's a DIY video that a lot of people are confused about. There's one. There's two right there, okay. Here's a, this is the same thing, if you look. All right, it's just blue. All right, I have, I have many of these, okay. They're very cheap, they're very inexpensive and well worth the money. Do not back up your computer, the whole computer, you don't need to. All you're doing is dragging, click and drag, that's it. Drop and drag, drag and drop, whatever you want to call it. It's easy, it's simple. If you've already uh, used all the space on your hard drive and you're confused and don't know what to do, okay, plug your hard drive in, highlight all the files, delete everything off of it. If it says it's too big to go into the uh, recycle bin, and it says permanently delete it, click yes. Once that has been done, you have cleaned up your hard drive, unplug it, wait about three or four minutes, plug it back in, it will reset itself, and then you can start all over. Do not, okay, do not automatic uh, save on your hard drive, external hard drive. I've drugged this out for now for a very long time. And it's time to say goodbye. Take it easy and watch for all the upcoming videos. And check out Mr. Blue Roads on uh, YouTube. He spends a lot of time on his videos uh, and doesn't really get a lot of recognition for them. Take it easy. We'll see you later. Have a great day. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.